action. Gusto niyo kayo nasa front line. You want to have people behind you following you. Sino wants to lead? Yon, dami wants to lead. How about those who don't want to lead but you want to follow? You don't want that added responsibility on your shoulders. You just want to follow. Wala ka amen? Meron, may mga umamin. Thank you guys for your honesty. So did you guys see that? Out of all the 200 attendees here, about 95% of the people wants to lead. And only about 5%, actually dalawa lang sila eh. But, uh, dalawa lang dito yung gusto mag-follow. What we just saw there is the exact reason why during the 1940s, 1950s, there were very few literature on trend following. Although it has already existed 200 years prior. Kasi, di ba when we say following, what does it denote? It denotes a, a passive action rather than of a bold, assertive action. And people are more drawn to the latter. You guys want to lead. You guys want to take action. There is no appeal in just following. Tama ba? There's no appeal in just following. So, kaya, di ba kahit ngayon, in today's culture, we herald people who are trendsetters. Di ba? Not trend followers. Pero tonight, I wanna share a story to you on how I was first exposed to trend following. Actually, I, I remember it very clearly. It was in 2015. I was in my workstation, happily typing my life away. Nung tinabihan ako ng workmate ko, sabi niya, Kay, nagsastocks ka ba? Lalim kasi lalaki siya eh. <laughs> nagsastocks ka ba? Ako naman, sabi ko, pretensyos ako eh. Sabi ko, oh no, nag-mutual funds ako. Mutual funds, I'm proud na proud pa. Sabi niya. Tapos he went on to tell me about the latest stock market. Nung akala niya, dami kong alam. Kasi sabi ko, nag-mutual funds ako. Sabi niya, alam mo ba, this stock rose 15% in one day. Tapos, the following day, sabi niya, grabe, this stock fell 30% in 30 minutes. Ako naman, syempre, I wanted to be polite. So, sabi ko, oh, ayos. Oh, uh, okay yan, okay yan. Syempre, ganyan ako, ba? He did that every day for the next three months. Walang palya, every day. Talagang tatabihan niya kung magkikwento siya about it. Hindi pa siya nakagets, no? Hindi pa siya nakaramdam. So, sige, akala, akala niya kasi talaga interesado ako, eh. Pero sige, until one day, Lapit siya sa akin. Same, same old routine, pero this time, there was a different energy on him. Sabi niya, Kay, alam mo ba, ang dami naging milyonary ngayong linggo. Milyonary. You know, when he said the word millionaire, there was like a light bulb that switched in my head. For the first time in three months, interesado na ako. <laughs> Kasi ano, millionary, ay sorry, millionary daw eh, di ba? So sabi ko, tell me more. Ay, kang ganun. So, kinento niya, ayon, lumipad 100% in 5 days. You guys remember that? So, yung nakakalala nun, September 2015, ayon, 100% in 5 days, ba? Tapos, so, that was the catalyst for me to finally try to learn about the stock market. It was the promise of huge sums of money in a small amount of time. Diba? Kasi naisip ko nun, so, if somebody invested 1 million in Ion after 5 days, he has another million without doing anything. Ah, uh, diba? Very tempting. So, I, actually, I, I'm very curious about this. Huh? Is everybody here uh, participating in the stock market? Everyone participates in the stock market? Yes? Okay, so I want you guys to close your eyes. Close, just close your eyes for a second. You or me, saglit lang to. Because I'm, I'm honestly curious about this. If you entered the stock market because you want to earn for yourself first. Not because you want to learn a new skill or you want to help out others, but because you want to earn for yourself first. Please raise your hands. Okay? It's, it's okay, guys. Pwede umamin. It's just you and I and the thousands of people who will get to watch this when this gets uploaded. <laughs> Sige, put down your hands and then open your eyes. So, you guys wanna know ilan yung percentage na nagtaas ng kamay? About 80% of you raised your hands. Yung mga hindi nagtaas, okay lang. <laughs> I, I'm one of you guys, sa mga nagtaas ng kamay. Yun din yung goal ko. I, want, I wanted to earn for me first. Kasi how, how could you help other people if you're not helping yourself first, di ba? So, finally, I opened my first online brokerage account. So, ako naman yung lumapit sa friend ko. Sabi ko, Huy, alam mo ba? 
nagsa-stocks na rin ako. Oh, <laughs> nag-open lang ng account, nagsa-stocks na, no? And then, listen to what I asked him next. I said, so, ano magandang bilhin? Oh, di ba? Can you guys relate? You open an account, you still don't know anything, and then you ask for a stock tip. Recipe for disaster. But this is what he told me. He said, I know just the right stock. So, ayan. This was the first stock I ever bought. Ano kaya yan? <laughs> this was the first stock I ever bought. Kasi, my friend told me that his friend, who has a friend who knows a lot about these things, told him <laughs> that this stock would rise in just a few weeks. Sabi, this would double up in a few weeks. And me, knowing about Ion's move a few days ago, sabi ko, this is very possible. This could be the next ayon, sabi kong ganun. So, I don't know anything about technical analysis. I don't know anything about fundamental analysis. I just know about my friend's analysis. So, syempre, I bought. Diba? I bought. And you guys wanna know what happened next? Thank you all for being here. Tapos na tayo. <laughs> you guys wanna know what happened? Ito, this is what happened next. Boom. Ah, na yung mga kaahon na tayo sa kahirapan. <laughs> so, akala ko talaga, sabi ko, this is it. Sabi ni Hazel kanina, di ba, na-feel niya. Ito na yung for her. Na-feel ko din, ito na yung for her. This is it. Di ba? And then, so ano ako, feeling good ako. And then, this happened. Boom. And you, you know you know what I did? I sold all my possessions. Joke. Siyempre hindi. <laughs> ako din naman, sorry. Siyempre hindi. Hindi ko binenta. Ito yung naisip ko niyan eh. What? This stock so cheap, it's on sale. Alam niyo, when you're inside a mall, you're walking inside a mall, tapos you see this store that says 50% off, and then you don't want anything from there, pero you wanna go in anyways, kasi it's 50% off, eh. you wanna see what they have. That's exactly what I did. Only I did not check, I bought. So yun yung ginawa ko, bumili ako dyan. Okay, bumili ako, dalawa na yung binili ko, diba? And then, this is what happened next. Boom! So yung ba iniisip, nagbenta na kaya siya? Pero ito, naisip ko dyan eh. 50% noon, ngayon 70% off na. Kukuha pa ako, bimili ko na lahat ng ayaw bilhin. That's what, that's what I did. So, binili ko lahat. Binili ko lahat. Siyempre, hindi lahat nung shares na yun kasi, ano, shrimp lang tayo eh. Yung kaya lang ng ano, quart ko. So, binili ko yan. Galing ko, ano? Tapos, this is what happened. Ayan, bumili ko dyan. Boom! Ang galing, no? Ano, um, all of my hard-earned money, from being a nurse, gone just like that. Diba? Pero, did you guys notice, every breakdown, huwibili ako. <laughs> every breakdown, huwibili ako. Little did I know that this is this would be my first exposure to trend following. <laughs> it was, diba? Only I was following the wrong trend. I was following the, the downtrend. Exactly. Oh, di ba? Ang galing, ang galing ko niyan eh. So, <laughs> tawa-tawa, tawa-tawa sila, no? Pag, pag ano, no? Pag may natatalo, tawa-tawa kayo, no? <laughs> Ayan, I was following na tawa. So, umpisa pa lang talaga, trend follower na pala talaga ako, no? Sino dito, full-time, you have full-time day jobs, but you wanna trade, you wanna trade as well. Ayun, ang dami. So, thank you, guys. I get a lot of messages from traders who tell me, Ma'am, I'm working full-time. But I also wanna trade. I wanna know about trend following. And then I would answer them as much as I could. Some of you are here. I would answer them as much as I could. I would give them little pointers here and there. But to everyone who messaged me and to everyone whom I replied to, I wanna take this opportunity to apologize to you guys. Because there's one very important thing that I did not get to tell you. It's that trend following is not for everyone. Trend following is not for everyone. So I remember this story about a uh, very, very cute old couple. They went to a fast food restaurant. So si Lolo and si Lola went into Jollibee. Si Lolo, si Lola went on to find an empty table and sat on the chair. Si Lolo went to the counter and ordered a meal. And then when he came back, meron siyang dalang isang chicken, isang spaghetti, isang fries, and isang drink. Isang set lang. And then 
he sat and then he went on to divide the chicken into half. Hindi, hindi madali yun. May buto-buto yun eh. Hindi <laughs> siya filet. So, dinivide niya yung chicken into half. And then he divided the spaghetti into half. He divided the fries into half. May fries ba? Meron no? He divided the fries into half. And then he went on to eat. But little did they know, there was this guy across them watching them. Noong nakita nung guy na dinidivide nila, he felt pity. Sabi niya, I really have to help them. So he went to their table. He said, Lolo, Lola, I could just get you another set of meal. You don't have to divide this. W- wag niyo lang isipin yung bayad ako na magbabayad doon, sabi niya. So si Lolo looked to, looked to this guy. He said, Thank you, Iho, but we're used to sharing everything. So hindi sila pumayag. This guy defeated, he went back to his table. And then Lolo went on to finish his half of the meal. When he's done, Lola still wasn't eating. Natingin na siya kay, kay Lolo. Tsaka sa meal. Tingin siya kay Lolo, tingin siya sa meal. And then this guy still, he's still watching them eh. Sabi niya, where is siya? Why is Lola not eating? So he couldn't help it. He approached, he approached your table. And he said, Lola, why aren't you eating? I really could just get you another meal so Lola could finish this. So you could have your own. Tapos si, si Lola, tumingin siya kay, kay, kay kuya. Tumingin siya kay Lolo. Tuwing siya kay kuya. Tuwing siya kay lolo. Tapos tinuro niya si, si lolo. Sabi niya, nantay ko pa yung postiso eh. <laughs> so, talaga pa lang ano no, they're sharing everything. Diba? So, 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 why did I, why did I share this story to, to you guys? It's just to emphasize na huwag kayo share na postiso. <laughs> It's just to emphasize that what you see on the outside might be very different on what is really happening underneath. A lot of people have this impression that trend following is easy because it's simple. That's why during the 1940s, 1950s, people weren't taking it seriously because they're thinking, how could something so simple generate this much profit? It's not possible. There must be something more complex behind this. So skeptics sila. Now fast forward, 60, 70 years later, we're in the 21st century. People still think that Trend following is easy. And rightfully so, because you don't need a lot of indicators. You don't need a lot of rules. Diba? But this is what I want to tell you guys tonight. Just because it's simple doesn't mean it's easy. Yes. Agree ba? Yes. Agree ba? Yes. Yan. So, sino ditong gustong magkaroon ng 100% gain in one year? I want to hear you say yes. Dina, 100% gain one year. Ano, choosy, choosy. Bear market, bear market. 100% gain one year. Yes. Yon. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you about this guy. But before I tell you about this guy, ito lang din. That's why I chose this topic eh. Kasi before you, before you decide that you wanna do trend following, I just, and before you tell your friends na, hey, maybe you should do TF kasi you're working. Before you tell that to your friends, before you tell that to yourself, I just want to show you yung struggles and challenges that a trend trader goes through before you decide that this is for you. Okay lang ba? So yun, so everybody wants to have 100% gain in one year. Etong etong guy na to, he did not have 100% gain in one year. Not 200%, not even 500%. He had an astonishing 250,000% gain in 16 years. So that's roughly around 15,000% gain in one year. Ah, hindi, hindi, to, hindi to fan fiction. His name is, wala? His name is Ed Seikota. Ed Seikota is an electrical engineer, but he is also branded as the greatest trend follower. 250,000% in 16 years? Hindi pa ba magiging greatest trend follower yan? So si Ed Seikota, he has this little illustration on price change. Para for us to visualize price change better, which affects our trend, meron siyang illustration. And I'm gonna do that tonight, guys. 